Well, well, fuck. Well, time has come. Ray makes another probably final how to PC check video at the end of October. So, first off, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments asking, how do I get my file explorer to look like this? I will leave a link to the Discord, like my Discord, and it'll have the link in there, you know, whatever. But enough of that yapping shit, whatever. I'm Trust, it's going to be linked in there. Enough, enough of that yapping shit. I'm going to go over some of this stuff in manual methods, and just because this is possibly my last video ever posted on YouTube, I'm going to include some things from Terrible Life, like Sesame Reformer, because that's just basics. So, the first thing that I see in checks that most people are doing absolutely terrible about is just doing Windows R and Prefetch. Now, this isn't bad. You know, some people are, like, not the smartest and just have loader.exe in here or you know whatever usb view. um yeah some people are slow like that but you don't want to do that you actually want to download the nurse off tool which is windows prefetch view which is in the free section most of the stuff listed is going to be from the free section of my discord like the download links all of that uh download the 64 bit and then you just extract it. You don't even have to extract extract it for real. You can just open it. Um, it's usually what I do. It just is basically just a more advanced way of looking at someone's prefetch files, and uh, it's actually very useful at moments. Like if we go to CND, we can clearly see that you know some shit's been going on in my command prompt. You it basically just like it's a way of listing more information like valuable information but the main ones that you want to look at if you see a CMD uh, sometimes you can go through that I don't really look at that that often but uh, consent is a main one so consent is basically from the time that they turn their PC on like whenever their last boot was so whenever you're checking them, their files will pop up in consent. So consent is basically when an application asks you, do you want to give this, you know, administrative permissions? And you click yes or no. So it shows you what they click yes to. Like um, I've clicked yes to voice chain to voice uh whatever the fuck clownfish when I installed it, steel series steel series when I installed it. Uh, Overwatch, which is just my Valorant tracker, but you just get more like detailed results than if you were to Windows R prefetch view. Um, another big one, and a lot of bypasses fail to actually clear this, and I don't know why, is in event viewer, um, deleted journal. A lot of bypasses like to delete journal and keep the trace up because if they delete the trace then it will create another trace and then delete yeah it's basically just a loop so if they were to clear their journal it will it will say like the usn journal c drive whatever whatever drive they cleared has been deleted if it's anywhere within the last i'd say like three weeks then you can hold them anything longer than that like if it's from like Five months ago don't hold them off of that because you know that's nowhere near recent a lot of people I don't know how it came back to the 5m community is getting bypassed by USBs um, it's pretty basic US like detecting USB is actually very basic you can download a USB D view like ner the nurse off program many people I'm just gonna say this now Many people go through System Informer, or some of you guys use Process Hacker. Uh, they dump Explorer, and they dump for USB D view. And they, they take a screenshot, and they'll hold people off of it. You don't want to do that. You don't want to filter USB D view through Explorer, because 
like in this case it could be script or it could be the real USB D view so you always want to verify and you don't you don't I don't know what the fuck I'm saying chat but on this USB D view you can see right here that uh, I've plugged my phone in it's not connected anymore but on these you're mainly looking for mass storage a mass storage is a USB drive uh, yeah uh, also DMAs sometimes like very rare they try to disguise themselves as like a gaming mouse or a Bluetooth headset but as you can see this is just a normal USB device it's unplugged all you got to do is just ask them to plug it in if they don't you can hold them off of it but also what I didn't do is check when the last time it was plugged in and like removed from my computer so again like journal if it's like five months ago it doesn't matter this was last month like for, I'd say roughly three weeks ago so I'd ask them to plug it in if they don't I'm just gonna go on about my day because um, me personally I don't give a fuck I really don't <laughs> that's just the truth Red Lotus Bam this is getting very popular and it's kind of useful it's kind of not it'll help you in some instances it won't in, in others but I will say it is on the uprise and it is pretty popular and I don't know kind of useful you just take the command all you got to do is just open command prompt as admin run it wait for this to finish and yabba dabba doo doo it'll start just yapping towards you but it actually can give you some information and I just want to remind you guys this is all free in my discord if you want to get more it's obviously paid but it's actually pretty cheap people tell me it. they say I need to up the prices but nah I'll pass on that <sighs> I'm just broke how it is but um so here it's basically just showing you like valid signatures compared to like like invalid signatures like MSRX uh, that's for my MSR reader which uh, I only use for educational purposes of course but it doesn't have a signature so I would go like check on that and try to see what it is uh, but after that's done journal trace I'm pretty sure one of my old videos went over this so I'm not gonna get too deep into it but it's basically like it's basically just reads files in your journal. Yeah, I'm almost certain that I've done this in a previous video. But you just data grid and then you can search anything like the raw Excel. Fuck it. And then there's hella prefetch there. Uh, another thing you can use is checking their virus protection or downloading another nurse off tool called Windows Defense Viewer. And it'll basically, okay, fuck me, whatever, there's a link for it somewhere. But it basically just shows you, like, all the virus, you know, all the things that have been caught as a virus. So if we go to mine, mine's raw Excel, and you can actually see in here that I have it set up to um, a task, like it's a, it's a task scheduler. So whenever I open my work folders and click a certain button and it it will launch my tzx so that's one way to detect it if it gets flagged I need to delete storm i don't know why they don't mess with me no more but uh yeah whatever what we'll go through we'll go through tier one system informer so in tier one like lsass um this is all like all the user or the person you're checking has to do to really bypass LSASS is just restart their computer. If they restart it, the trace is gone. It's more of like a live in instant kind of thing. So you want to download sys you want to download System Informer, uh, the Canary version. It actually is like ten times better than the normal and fucking dog shit Process Hacker. It's if you guys use Process Hacker, you guys you gotta step up the game and get in with system informer but once you're in here you want to enable uh, kernel mode driver and then it'll restart but 
I'm not even going to get into LSSS because I don't have any cheats in instance, but um, if we go here, for example, like Diag Track, Diag Track, Diag Track. Wait, hold on, I'm being slow. Strings. Five. Fuck it. Everybody knows I do five now. And then you just contains, paste it. Wrong one, guys. It's Regix. I forgot. It's on me. But, uh, I'm going to expand this and expand this column. You can get mad results. Like, I don't know. It's more like a system files kind of thing. I don't really use Diag Track. I don't rely on it. Um, smart screen. This is for like, um, like applications that it says it right here were detected as having malicious use, such as normally, uh, like cheats usually get flagged. More of a in instance kind of thing. And then yeah. Windows features so I already covered the virus and threat so NVIDIA um, This is kind of old uh, Most bypasses like try to prioritize bypassing this and cleaning LSSS at the same time But literally all you have to do and it says it right here manage 3d uh, settings Hold on. You got to click program settings and then you un shut up. You uncheck the show only programs found on this computer. Got to uncheck that, and then come on, uncheck, bro. Like load faster or something. And then you click on add program. It basically just a bunch of results you can skim through, see what doesn't belong there. Like I don't think there's gonna be anything in my like, sniffer.exe, bro. I'm like, am I just getting fucking ratted right now? Like dead heavy. But yeah, that's one thing you can use. Uh, most of the time, some cheats, like people who try to hide their cheat as system files, it, it'll show up there. Uh, already went through prefetch. Event viewer. I'm not going to leak. I'm not going to leak the whole tier one. Uh, Windows R commands. These aren't really that like difficult to get into. I mean, I'm pretty sure quite literally everybody knows how to Windows R. But I know that I've been talking about NERSOFT tools a lot, but a couple, like not a couple, a bunch of great tools to get into are Eric Zimmerman tools. Oh, you guys don't know how or fuck who Eric Zimmerman is, bro. He's like a hardcore geek, bro. I swear this, this dude uncoded everything. But definitely some of his. I have tutorials on how to use his applications his programs in my tier 2 section so I'm not going to get too deep into that but one of your main ones that I see a lot is registry explorer and timeline explorer which are both in tier 2 on how to use not really that difficult um, but they are really efficient they will help you check no matter if you're you know struggling if you're the best in the fucking world like many of you guys think you are, but <clears throat> yeah, so all around in the end of 2024 checking com, searching through Explorer is dead. Registry Explorer, you'll maybe sometimes, but you want to get into a bunch of more on the memory forensics instead of just basic windows. Uh, like Magnum RAM capture, you can RAM dump people. That's been very profitable, like in the com nowadays. But yeah, I just wanted to go out with, you know, somewhat of what to get into, what to move forward towards, how to do some stuff, like lead into some stuff that you could potentially purchase from me. Um, but. That's it. I'll always have my cord up. I'm all. I sell a teaching, like one-on-one -on -one teaching. We get in the call, and I literally go step by step, from tier one to tier three on how to do everything, and help you out. So, I do want to say right now, if you use code red, if you join the cord, and use code red, 
and say that you're from YouTube, I will give you 20% off. You just have to be subscribed. You don't even have to like the video. You just have to be subscribed. As long as you're subscribed, you'll get the 20% and use code RED. But that's all. Um, maybe I'll come back and make another video. I don't know. YouTube's kind of like fucked me over. They put me in an, uh, you know, I'm yapping too much, bro. I just hope y'all fuck with the content. I'll try to upload more PC checking videos. I'm just, I'm not on as much as I can anymore, chat. Like, that's that's really the main thing. I want to provide. I want to help. But I just, I just can't be there all the time, bro. Like, the times that I am online, I'm bored now. But, um, yeah. Enough of me yapping, bro. Just, I hope y'all get better if you want to. You know, potentially continue your checking experience and your skills. Join, you know, my server will be in the bio. And that's all I can say, bro. Rest easy.